Hello, this is Bunting, and today, by request of Reddit commenter Dansky MSC, I will be going over some sound design in Vital in the style of Ganja White Knight. Let's play this track. <laughs> So, as per usual, I will be briefly going over everything in this little arrangement, then I'll be making some from scratch. So first of all, this main wop, this main wobble. So going in our vital here, you can see that all these bases follow a similar formula. For the wobble, of course, you always want your LFO not on the level this time but on a low pass filter and that's going, taking it the whole way as you can tell turn down this so it doesn't fucking crinkle, crunkle anymore or whatever and we have this cool wavetable here just being also automated by this wobble and this format scale what it does As you can tell, it has this really interesting effect where it almost like pitches it down in a way. I just think it's really good for taking a pretty normal wavetable and making it just fat, you know. And under our effects, we have just a bit of chorus with the mix down and multiband compression just to bring it all out. Cool, cool. Another kind of sound very common in Ganja White Knight is this combs filter. The issue is you can't really do it in um, Vital, or I don't know of anywhere it has it but Serum. But that sounds very familiar to me in terms of Ganja White Knight. And all that is is the same bass, just with the combs filter on it. And I'm sorry about the crackling, I really tried my best to fucking <laughs> deal with it, but you know. Okay, now this crazy growl here, it follows a similar formula. This time though, mess with the LFO, so it swells in slower. See, it's pretty much the same exact patch, however, I have it on a bar frequency, so it kind of gr growls in with the sweeping open of this low pass filter. Awesome. Now for this, this sequence of wobbles here, it is the same patch duplicated, however, I changed the position in the wavetable just a bit to a kind of higher pitched kind of frame of the wavetable. And for the second growl, I did the same thing. <laughs> just don't even need to open that. And for this, I did a similar thing just with a different wavetable. Really, it's just messing with different wavetables automated by an LFO and a low pass filter. And the last thing before I start making some of these from scratch is these little background melody things. So, this kind of reggae offbeat kalimba type thing is achieved by first of all a plucky envelope and next of all is this square wave being automated with a filter and also layered a triangle on top just for a bit more high-end stuff and of course I have reverb on this whole group this now is two saw waves with varying level, with this low pass on it to take off some of that screechy edge. And I have this always glide under portamento and glide up. And chorus to widen it. Just makes it sound much nicer and compressor with the mix on around 50 for that kind of stuff. Now without further ado, feel free to pause and go back through that stuff. I'm gonna make some from scratch now. So let us just copy our drum loop over and just say, well, let's just save this for now and then fucking delete all this. So 
It's not crackling to shit with all these vital patches that my tiny laptop cannot handle. So goodbye. I'll be back for you later. But for now, let us open a fresh patch of vital. Inserting our MIDI track way down here. Just bring it up. Please come up here. Thank God. Okay. Vital. And let's lay down our MIDI note. That's going to be F. Great. Just a great note. Cool stuff. Wonderful stuff. And just looping this so we can hear it over and over again. And of course, control hitting arrow key to put it at the lowest octave possible for the utmost bass heavy shit. Now, my thought process in creating this is, first of all, there's obviously some wobble action. So I would say, hey, put it on the level. Except that is not what you want to do for these kind of basses. So I'm like, hey, but it has that low pass. So put it on here. Something's not right. But if you get rid of this, it sounds more right. Okay, did that make sense? Hope so. Just picking a random wavetable here. Crappy toilet, great. See, I'm looking for something fat and wobbly. That might be good. Let's assign our LFO to this right here. Decreasing our range. And let's get our format scale to beef it up even more. See, I don't know if I like this. It's a little too like smooth, not crispy enough. So let's go to the one we were using earlier, this clicky row button. Cool. Now just assign this chorus. We don't want that ringing effect to returning our feedback down. And just a little less on it, so turning the mix down. And of course the compressor to just beef it all up with the attack and release up. And the volume down because that shit is loud. Cool. Now to make another bass, let's just take this, split it in half, and duplicate it. Copy that. Cool. So for some variation, all I'm going to do is change this wavetable position. And how about some LFO action as well for these fatty wobbles? So just going in to Vital, clicking that, and it, pressing A to enable our automation and drawing. Cool. And just let's just duplicate that whole thing. Bam, 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 bam. And how about let's introduce the growly thing here. So let's just delete that. And go into our new duplicated patch. And, whoops, turn down our LFO to one bar. How about dragging this back? And let's play that. Sorry about the crackling once again. Yeah. 
and let's let's add more melody like ban dan dan because I don't know that sounds much more ganja ganja white nighty cool sounds wobbly to me let's insert another midi track with a new vital in it and put in our offbeat chords that ganja white knight just loves to use they fucking love them and that's going to be offbeat and I'm just drawing it a fifth off of F. And I'm gonna like just slow past this so I don't have to hear this noxious. And let's duplicate that. Duplicate that. And on the last one, let's just pitch them both up. make this not a lame patch we are going to tweak it a bit let us go to factory basic shapes and pitch this up and let's also add a plucky envelope Also assign this to our filter. Let's add another oscillator with the basic shapes as well, another triangle, and pitch that up two octaves. Let's turn that down. And add some reverb. Mix down. Cut out the lows. Awesome. Duplicating that just to get another vital thing real fast. And let's draw in our melody. Just th thinking it in my head. Okay, and let's change the patch on this. Let's just initialize. Pitch this up. Add a chorus. Um, add a filter, turn on the resonance. Add another saw wave, transpose this up even higher. Turn that way down and put it through filter one. And enable our glide and always glide. Let's open up our filter a bit more. Sure, add reverb even though my, my computer can't even handle it. Alright, and that's pretty much how you make a Ganja White Knight track minus the incessant crackling of my laptop suffering but that about covers it as your rule of thumb for these wubs just find a cool wave table put in slap an lfo on it slap a filter on it slap a chorus and multi-band but most of all it's that lfo wave table and lfo filter go automate that duplicate it 
add some little variations here and there, little wubby melodies, and you're going to be having a fun wubby time. That about covers it. Thanks for watching. If you learned something and enjoyed, hit the like button. It looks like this. It's right, right down there. And if you want to give me any suggestions for any future videos, that would, that would be appreciated. You can comment those below and also ask any questions you might have. And if you want to stay tuned with all this new content coming out, all this new sound design stuff, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. This is Bunting. Peace out.